The California Department of Public Health has confirmed the first known case of clade one impox in the United States. Impox is the condition that was formerly known as monkeypox, and clade one is the type of impox. I'm going to go more into that in a moment. The person who was diagnosed with this, uh, had recently traveled from Eastern Africa. The person was treated shortly after returning to the United States at a local medical facility. They've been isolating at home, uh, and apparently their symptoms are improving, which is great. This information, by the way, is according to the CDC and the California Department of Public Health. Now, the importance of this is that impox is always important, but it's also important because this, again, is the first case of clade one impox in the U.S. This case is thought to be related to an ongoing outbreak of this clade one impox that we've been seeing in Central and Eastern Africa that has been going on. And understand that clade one is different than clade two. When we started seeing impox cases in the U.S., uh, like in 2022, that was clade two. This is clade one. And they are different in terms of like how they are spread and who they affect and things like that. So there's definitely differences. You can't tell clade one versus clade two by looking at someone with a rash. Okay. But um, clade one has never been reported in the U.S. until now. The other main and probably one of the most significant things about clade one and understanding this is that historically clade one has caused more severe illness and deaths than clade two impacts. Okay. However, the CDC reports some good news, in my opinion, and that is that infections from clade one impacts in the current outbreak may not be as severe as what we've seen in the past. Okay, um, in, you know, outbreaks in the past used to have death rates around three to eleven percent. Now, more recent outbreaks have had death rates as low as one percent or so when patients receive good medical care, and that's really important, especially since we've been seeing this outbreak overseas, and that's certainly one of the concerns. Many scientists, etc., were speculating that this may be a more severe form. So that is good news thus far, okay? The CDC, I know you're gonna say to yourself, well, so what do I think? What do I say? What, what do I need to think about this? CDC says that the risk of clade one impox to the public remains low, but there are sporadic clade two impox cases. Remember, we do have a vaccine against impox. Not everyone qualifies for that, so talk to your doctor. CDC guidance, let me remind you of that. And by the way, if you wanna know about the symptoms, I have other videos about that, but impox causes a distinctive rash and other symptoms as well. But the CDC guidance is number one, avoid close contact with people who are sick with symptoms of impox. They have skin or genital lesions. Be leery and avoid contact with that. Avoid, number two, avoid contact with contaminate, contaminated materials used by people who are sick. So that's things like clothing and bedding, toothbrushes, um, other things like that. Even materials used in healthcare settings. And number three, as I mentioned before, if you're eligible, get both of the recommended doses of impox vaccine. So I will continue to keep you updated about this. If you want uh, more information on impox pictures, et cetera, just DM me, send me a message so I can send you links to those videos.